In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus BaCl2. This is potassium carbonate plus barium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the equation here, the molecular equation. I have two chlorines here and one here. If I put a two here, they're balanced. And I have two potassiums, two potassiums. Carbonate on each side and a barium on each side. We're done. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Potassium compounds, very soluble, AQ, that'll dissolve, break apart into its ions. Chlorides, those are also soluble if you know your solubility rules. Potassium chloride, that's going to be soluble, dissociate into the ions. And then barium carbonate. Carbonates are often insoluble, except for group one carbonates like potassium or sodium. So barium carbonate here is insoluble. That means it's not going to dissolve. It's going to be a solid. When these react, falls to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. Potassium, that's in group one. It has a one plus ionic charge on each one of those potassium atoms. Carbonate ion, the whole thing is two minus. That's a good one to remember. So we have two potassium ions. I won't write states right now. Let's do that at the end. The carbonate ion, that CO3, two minus. Barium's in group two on the periodic table. That'll be two plus chloride, one minus. So we have the barium ion. And then for the chloride, we have two of them. So we have two chloride ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said plus and minus. So we have two potassium ions, just like in the reactants. Two chloride ions, same there again. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. So we're just going to keep this as BaCO3. So this is the total or complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides. So they don't change, and we're not really interested in them. In the reactants, I have two potassium ions and here in the products. Those are gone. Here's two chloride ions and again in the products. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus BaCl2. I'll clean this up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate and barium chloride. I put the positive ion first. It doesn't really matter, but maybe it looks a little nicer. Charge is balanced. You can see I have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. They add up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of 0. The atoms, they're balanced as well. So this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K2CO3 plus BaCl2. Thanks for watching.